Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be opening up the BoxyCharm Premium Box for the month of June. I did open up my base box a few days ago, so I will leave that link down below or in the cards if I remember to do it, if you're interested. So this is $35 a month. You do get to customize one item, a choice item, and then you get around six to seven full-size items. The value is always really, really high on these two. So without further ado, let's see what we got this month in our premium. So when you open it up, it is blue and we do have a card. This month's theme is BoxyCharm The Oasis. So a very relaxing scene there. And then on the back, it does go over all of the items inside this month's box. And I have variation 34. So the very first thing I'm gonna pull out is uh, actually my choice item. So this is from a Lashaholic. And these are the lashes in their real, I swear. So I wasn't really crazy about the options for choice. I haven't really been that crazy lately about them. Uh, they just haven't been the best. So I figured that this was the best of what I had to choose from. They're very natural, but very pretty. They kind of like taper, get a little bit uh, longer on the outside edge. I'll definitely wear them. All right, so this is the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. They're real, I swear, 100% silk. So they're very lightweight, made with a crisscross pattern and tapered ends for a natural glam look. And these are valued at $14.99. I love the pink sparkly packaging. The next thing is this, and this is from Skin & Co. And we have gotten quite a few items from Skin & Co. This is the Sardinian Spirit Shower Gel with notes of Sardinian, Myrto, Lemongrass, and Wild Orange. Um, okay, so Skin & Co. Sardinian Spirit Shower Gel. Like the delicate fragrance of yellow flowers on a vibrant Sardinian summer day when the Mediterranean breeze carries the notes of the pressed myrtle leaves, flowers, whatever, berries that runs through the cobblestone streets. And this is free of phthalates, parabens, and mineral oils. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is just like a traditional shower gel. And it does smell, it does smell like lemons to me, um, or the lemongrass. It does have a little, a little bit of orange. It reminds me of something from like um, Bath and Body Works that I used to get back in the day. I don't know how I really feel about a shower gel being in the premium box. I know that this is Skin & Co and um, their items are more of like a um, like a prestige line, but I don't know if I'm just like crazy about there being a shower gel in my premium box. It makes me think of last month when we had the shampoo bar. I don't know, uh, tell me what y'all think about it. The next item is this, and this is a dual ended brush from Billion Dollar Brows. And um, I will say it is very cheap feeling. It's very lightweight. And I don't know if you can tell from from the camera, but the cut of the angled side is very, very choppy, very uneven. Um, I don't know, it's just not the most luxurious looking brush. So anyway, let's read about it. All right, so Billion Dollar Brows Sculpting Duo Brush, the simplest tool to achieve the perfect contour. So the contour side is densely packed angled brush applies to target areas, then buffs and blends for a sculpted look. The highlighter side, which is the side right here, is a tapered brush for precise blending to enhance smaller features on the face. So you could definitely use this to highlight down the bridge of the nose or maybe even highlight the inner corner um, and then this side they're wanting you to kind of use it to contour this is not densely packed though I'm gonna tell you right now it's not densely packed uh, this is valued at $30 there's just no way I'd spend $30 on this um, I'm quite familiar with what a good quality brush would look and feel like and this ain't it sis you could get a really nice set of brushes from like BH Cosmetics for $30 that would have brushes identical to these but um would feel a lot better in quality. So anyway, we have a brush from Billion Dollar Cosmetics. Next up is this, and this is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. This I am actually very excited for. I know that everyone this month got one of these. So here is the packaging. I am absolutely in love with Glow Recipe. I just think that their brand is so, so nice. The packaging is always really, really cute. And the products themselves are always really nice too. 
It doesn't have really much of a smell. Um, I do love my sleeping masks too. So let's read up about this guy. This is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. The Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask is a creamy, nourishing mask formulated with antioxidant rich avocado, exfoliating PHA, and the most gentle form of retinol, which is the encapsulated retinol. This super gentle yet effective mask works to improve skin's elasticity and reveal smoother, hydrated skin with each use. Uh, this is valued at $49. This is amazing. Um, so I would probably do my whole skincare routine, my toner, serums, moisturizers, and then I would do like a nice thick layer of this before I go to bed just to kind of help seal everything in and get the most benefits from everything. So I cannot wait to try this out. So I'm just gonna give a little feel. Nice and whipped in texture and it feels amazing. So I'm super excited for the Glow Recipe Avocado Sleeping Mask. All right, next I have a Kat Von D product. So this is the Inkwell liner. You know, I feel like we've been getting an item from Kat Von D like every single month. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, how do y'all feel about having Kat Von D products? I know now it's technically KVD, but here is the Inkwell liner and this is in Trooper, which is black. We did get one of these last month too. It was in a blue shade and I just felt like it was very watery. It wasn't very pigmented. I really had to build it up. Okay, so it has like a little tiny brush applicator. I do usually prefer like my felt tip pens, or not even felt tip, but like my brush tip pens to do my wing but it is very pigmented it went on really smoothly and um, it does look like it's drying down really quickly to a matte finish so you know this might actually be pretty good especially when I wear fake lashes I like to go in and just kind of cover the lash band with something like this so I don't know I'm sure I'll get use out of it so this is the KVD vegan beauty inkwell long wear matte eyeliner and um, it just says it's a long wearing innov innovative formula um, waterproof, transfer proof, um, smudge resistant, and this is valued at $20. All right, and then last but not least, I have the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. Um, again, everyone this month got the uh, Glow Recipe Avocado Sleeping Mask as well as the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette in their premium box, which I think is fabulous. Like, thank you for giving all of us something really good instead of us having to like hope that we get a certain variation. So this is what the palette looks like on the outside. Really sleek, really, really beautiful. I think Too Faced normally does a really, really great job with their packaging. And it does have a really large, really, really pretty mirror, really good quality. And here are the powders inside. So you have your highlighting powders and then your contouring powders. I'll do some swatches. Mm, it smells like chocolate too. Ugh, this is just making me want chocolate, especially with like the print of it. So here are the highlighting shades. You probably won't be able to see too terribly much. I'll swatch it, but yeah, I mean, you can't really see much at all, but it does feel really, really good. I'll normally go in with colors like this um, under my eye, so I'll bake a little bit with my Cover FX Translucent Setting Powder, and then I'll go in with like a shade like this maybe and pack it under the eyes. Um, and then this pink one would probably be good to brighten. Let's do the contour shades. Okay, there you go. And again, you can't really see too terribly much. The contour shade, the deepest shade looks really nice though. So there's those colors right there. But very smooth, very creamy. I do really enjoy Too Faced um, powder products. I love the Too Faced bronzer that we got in last month's premium box, I believe. Yeah, I've been wearing that constantly, so I really, really love it. Okay, and so the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette, it says lift cheekbones and sculpt like a pro with the easiest contouring palette you've ever experienced. The buildable matte formula is infused with our skin-loving cocoa complex and blends beautifully for a diffused, subtle contour, so natural and effortless. All they'll see is your perfect bone structure. Uh, anyway, that is <laughs> that retails at $44. Okay, so June Premium Box. It was actually a pretty good box. Um, I would say just this 
and this alone more than pays for the box. I mean, this is a $35 a month box and this right here is uh, over $80. I do like the lashes. I will definitely get use out of the lashes. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, this, if anything, I'll put at the sink for hand soap. It does smell really, really nice, so I can't complain about that. The two meh products for me would be this brush. I just think that it's just not real wet, well made. I don't like dual ended brushes because they're hard to store. And then the KVD liner, I'm just kind of like, okay, can we just like not get Kat Von D in every box now? Um, I mean, I get it. They're trying to burn through their, um, their branded products with her name on it, but I don't know. I just kind of over it at this point. But anyway, so for the most part, it was a great box. But y'all have to let me know what you thought. Do you get this box? Did you get my variation? What did you think? Let me know down below and also let me know how your day is going. And until next time, bye.